This afternoon, while exploring the market in Tepetzlan, I discovered that one vendor was selling crickets, roasted and spiced. <laughs> And it was an opportunity, a message from the universe, I think, to conclude my curiosity regarding what it would be like to add insects to my diet, roasted in this format, and in effect reduce some of the burden on other organisms like chicken that contribute to the foods that I normally eat today. So I've already had a few, you could imagine. This bag of crickets, maybe some grubs in there as well, cost 50 pesos. So I assure you, oops, they're quite tasty. I don't know if I'd call it delicious, but certainly worthy of exploration. Now that appears to be a garlic clove no surprise. There's another one of those little beasts. Yeah. <laughs> well, the time has come to exit the Echo Hostel, and I'm so flattered. There's so many people hovering around my bike, <laughs> including this friend who is from Turkey and she is intending on going on her own journey. So there was much curiosity about the bike. It's after 10.30 and I am reluctant to leave, obviously. Nonetheless, a long journey ahead. So I will carry on this morning without all these beautiful people by my side, but they are in my heart now, thanks to their honesty and kindness and curiosity. Mexico, continues to deliver many treasures, and this will be a fond memory for sure. Here's the entrance to the Echo Hostel. I arrived here serendipitously, decided to stay an extra day and I could stay a week. Just ahead of me is the road, I'm gonna hang a left here. Back into the wilderness today. Well, I took a wrong turn. <laughs> I was enjoying the descent so much. I had to find another way onto the highway. I climbed that very steep concrete. Now it's time to put in an earplug. Just rolled onto the toll road. Very quiet up here this morning. I've got lots to look at on either side of the road, but I'm also moving quite quickly. Seems to be a tailwind at the moment. Maybe I'll use two hands today. Definitely got to be careful where you step, especially roadsides, because that's where opportunistic plants, plants that are from other places on planet Earth, jump oceans, etc. That's where they tend to flourish and disturb spaces, roadsides, etc. I felt something funky in my left toe. Looks like the jaw of an animal, but it's a plant, I assure you. I've ridden up into the hills. And before that, I descended for something like 40 miles. As I descended, it got drier and drier. As you can see now, the landscape is quite brown, and I can tell you, it feels hotter than anything I've felt in some time. So I don't think this evening's going to be cold wherever I'm at. Believe it or not, the last two nights, I've struggled to stay warm in my tent. 
at a high elevation in the mountains west of Mexico City. You wouldn't expect it to be cold there at night, but in fact it is, being up so high. Though apparently climate change is affecting that too, and often it's not as cold as it was the last two nights. So I got a little taste of reality there prior to climate change. That's a gift from the universe. I suspect it's going to get warmer and drier all around me now as well are indications that I'm transitioning into another ecological zone. I'm beginning to detect trees that look like they belong in the tropics. I've just pulled off the side of the road to a roadside eatery. I'm going to have quesadillas. I've been about 55 miles into the day, feeling a little thin. No doubt they'll be delicious. I've ridden into a desert. It was beginning to look like the forest was going to change, but then it transitioned to a very dry space. Mm -hmm. 